Sloppy Wilder. Luis Ortiz, how you let a sloppy fighter beat you, Luis? I don't know. With that being said, let's get into this love one and hate one shit. Make sure you like or dislike. Make sure you leave them comments. And don't be a hater. If you full of my videos, hit the subscribe button. Or right, let's talk about some real shit in this video. Because you know it's real. Okay, I ain't gonna front to none of y'all. At first, I was like, nah, Wilder. I don't know about 12.5 million as well. But it's starting to get to that point where the negotiations is almost over, you guys. Deontay Wilder and his team has to make up their mind. And from what it seems like, their mind is made up. They ain't taking no 12.5 million. And let me tell you guys this, man. I really do feel like Wilder deserve maybe 60-40. Shit. The very least, at least 80-20, man. I think 75-25 would be straight. My boy, John IBN, he said, that is disrespectful. And you know what? I thought it was, man. But I think Wilder should go ahead and just take it, man. I really do. And... I don't only have one reason why he should take it. I got four reasons why Deontay Wilder should just go ahead and take the fight with Anthony Joshua for $12.5 million. Okay? With that being said, one of my honorable mentions is this. Eddie Hearn if Wilder don't take it, it makes Eddie Hearn, it just give Eddie Hearn more ways to kind of talk about Wilder, about how he should have took the fight and you know, you know what I'm talking about, etc, etc. But fuck the honorable mentions, let's get into this shit. With that being said, let's get into number four. Number motherfucking four. I mean, Deontay Wilder, because you kind of said it, yo. I mean, don't get it twisted, man. I understand you're not going to take anything for it. But you said that you was willing to take, what you said, 90-10, as long as in the rematch is guaranteed you get the same thing. Okay, I hear that, man. Maybe they're not guaranteeing you that. But I haven't heard Wilder really explain anything about this 12.5 million yet. Other than it sounds like he's kind of laughing at it, like he's not taking it. But I really think, like, to be honest with you, man, that's one of them, man. I mean, you said you was willing to take the smaller purse, basically. To take the fight, man. So, I would love to see you just stop empty Joshua. Let's get the job done. And then, well, I can't say this because I'll be giving up one of my numbers, okay? So, I can't say this yet, y'all. I'm going to say it in a minute, though. Hold up, y'all. Okay? Bless you. All right, y'all. Let's get to number three. Number motherfucking three. It gives the AJ fans an excuse, yo. I'm just keeping it 100, man. Because they're going to be like, they're going to try to destroy Wilder if he don't take the 12.5 million. And they're going to say, oh, well, the fight could have happened if it wasn't for Wilder. The fight could have happened if he would have just took the 12.5 million. And another thing they're also going to say you know they're going to say this. And I'm quite sure Deontay Wilder is going to know this as well. They're going to say Wilder priced himself out and ducked AJ. Some is going to go as far as saying Wilder ducked AJ. And y'all know that's a fact. Some people is already saying it. 
So, all that should have gone out the window if you just take the money, okay? Not to mention another honorable mention, which is a big honorable mention. It is a whole lot of fucking money, Deontay Wilder. And it's the most you ever made in your career within one fight. So, you got to take that into consideration as well. I don't know, man, but even though I'm kind of all over the place on this one, y'all, sneezing and shit, y'all know I edit shit. With that being said, let's keep the train rolling. And let's get to number two. Number motherfucking two. I mean, I feel like you could give Anthony Joshua a taste of his own medicine in the rematch. That is a fact, Wilder. Yeah, AJ might not want to take what you're going to offer him in the rematch if you stop AJ. He might not be willing to take that offer, Deontay Wilder. But let me tell you this. You're going to be able to get a chance to give that man a taste of his own medicine. AJ is going to want that rematch, yo. He's going to want the fucking rematch. And if he wants the rematch, you could constantly just throw it in his face. Hey, 12%. 12%. Okay? 12%. Or, you know, have him go fight Luis Ortiz. Or have him go fight somebody else first before you give him a rematch. If you beat AJ, the ball is on your side of the court. You're the A side at that point. Okay? It's just like the Kell Brook and Errol Spence. Regardless of how we want to look at it, Errol Spence is the A side going against Kell Brook. At 154 or not, I'm just keeping it the buck. With that being said, man, I got anything else I want to say about that one? Yeah, I just feel like AJ's going to desperately want the rematch, and you don't have to give it to him. You can toy with him, okay? Not only, not only. Are you going to toy with him? If you stop AJ, you, man, you get all the titles as well. Okay. With that being said, let's get into number one. Number motherfucking one. Yo, what if AJ loses, man? Now, I know, I know. I don't think AJ is going to lose. Before Wilder and AJ eventually faced each other. But what if you lose, Wilder? Not only you, but mainly AJ. Don't you want to be the person to dethrone him? And even, let's say, okay, let's say Pavekin. Pavekin got major action against AJ. A lot of you guys don't realize that. But Pavekin has some major action against AJ. Okay, some serious power over there. All right, but the problem is, Pavekin is not bringing that type of revenue in like Deontay Wilder. I mean, not Wilder, y'all. I mean, Anthony Joshua. So, with that being said, you guys gotta ask yourself if Pavekin beats AJ, Wilder can fight Pavekin and be undisputed, right? But the problem with that is, first of all, I'm quite sure AJ and Pavek can go get a rematch before Wilder gets the first match. And not only that, you're not going to get that big purse that you could have just got in this fight. Okay? So, you guys got to really think about that. What if any of these guys lose? Any of them? That kills the 12.5 million. The multi. It is a multi million dollar fight, regardless of what. 12 million. I mean, good lord, man. That's. Man, they're trying to play your boy. But Wilder, we can get the last laugh if we take it, man. Man, Wilder, if you see this video, man, snatch that 12.5 million, man. It's people that would never see 12.5 million, man. And you can get that within the fight. Stop that boy, and then the ball is on our side of the court. Okay, and that is my thoughts, my top four reasons why I know I was all over the place in this video, 
But y'all know I don't edit shit. I could have easily did the video over. But that's one thing you get on my channel, man. Rawness to the fullest. That being said, I am 